My name is Neve Briggs and I'm from Dungarvan in County Waterford. I went to college in WIT and uh, studied exercise and health studies. I always wanted to be guard. It was probably a pipeline dream, but I wasn't sure it was ever going to become a reality. Since I left Temple Moor, I've been stationed in Limerick, um, stationed in Roxborough Guard Station, and I absolutely love it. I love the station, I love that it's small enough, even though it's quite busy and everybody knows each other and there's a real kind of community atmosphere in there. I'm a community guard now. Community is an area that I'm really enjoying. Um, it's great flexibility. It gives me a lot of time to train. I suppose you probably know me as the captain of the Irish rugby team, and um, that shift work allows me to be able to, to you know, train in the mornings or, or in the afternoons when basically nobody else is, is around. As a community guard, my day-to-day -day job is we do a lot of things based within the community, but also, you know, schools visits, uh, residential meetings. I work a lot with a lot of the young kids in the area. Um, that's something that I really enjoy. And then you're trying to do the ordinary crime type things where you're crime security and prevention. You're still doing your usual guard of work. So it's busy, but it's, it's good. It's just another outlet of policing. And I think it's one that matters a lot to the community. The residents there, they, they like to know who their community guard is and it gives them a sense of security, I suppose. The downsides of the job is, is coming across serious crime or you know situations that have to be dealt with in a very serious manner and for us I suppose it's 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 not the nicest part but when we get there you know, the key priority for us is preservation of life and and um, we make sure that the the injured person there is, is looked after straight away in, really, in relation to medical attention and the first thing you do is you, you ring your sergeant and they contact the superintendent to, who will designate the scene of crime as, as such. So you cordon it off, you, you won't allow anybody to enter it or exit it and you take note of everything in your notebook. The times that you cordoned it off, the time you rang your, your sergeant, who was there at the time of the crime. Obviously superintendent or the chief superintendent might visit the scene along with your sergeant and inspector. Scenes of crime guys come along and then you know for the very serious crimes you know the forensic team are called from Dublin. Any advice I give to somebody considering this job would be to go to college, do your travelling, get your life experiences in because I think it'll help you massively to deal with situations that, that arise in this job. As you get older and more mature it's easier to, to be able to deal with situations in a calm manner and um, you know having done all that it's definitely helped me and I know it's helped my colleagues as well. The best part of the job for me is the the team aspect. You're working with people that are all focused on that same common goal as you are. Um, I've always been, you know, very into team sports and being a part of the guards is something very similar in the sense that it's that camaraderie, that that bond that you have that nobody really else has and that aren't involved in it. So working with the people that I get to work with and, and the team aspect is definitely the best part for me.